Hey there, friends. I'm Mario, a game developer over at Galaxy Games. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the Godot game engine and make your own games. We'll be using the first two lessons from the book Creating 2D Games with Godot, a guide to GD script and design. Let's start. Preface. Greetings. In the riveting saga of GD Script 2.0, you'll embark on a quest to master the mystical arts of GD Script, a language so dynamic, it practically does its taxi s in real time. Nestled snugly within the Godot game engine, GD Script isn't just any language, it's the Gandalf of programming languages, whispering a arcane secrets to wizards, aka game developers, in both 2D and 3D realms. Under the wise guidance of Professor Mario Tricolia, whose GD script prowess rivals that of a ninja cat on a keyboard, you'll journey from game development fledgling to scripting virtuoso. By the end, you'll wield GD script like a seasoned pro, creating games that make even your pet goldfish nod in AP Preval, or at least swim faster. So, whether you're a coding novice or a pixel perfect perfectionist, GD Script 2.0 promises to turn your gaming dreams into realities faster than you can say. Control plus Z. I just made a game. Lecture 1. Lecture covers understanding Godot 4 theory, followed by initiating a download and starting the game engine. We'll use a brief overview from Godot 4 literature to introduce newcomers to game development and explain Godot. Godot Engine is a feature-packed, cross-platform game engine to create 2D and 3D games from a unified interface. It provides a comprehensive set of common tools so that users can focus on making games without having to reinvent the wheel. Games can be exported with one click to several platforms, including the major desktop platforms, Linux, Mac OS, Windows, and mobile platforms, Android, iOS, as well as web-based platforms and consoles. Godot is completely free and open source under the permissive MIT license. No strings attached, no royalties, nothing. Users' games are theirs, down to the last line of engine code. GD Script GD Script is a dynamically typed, object-oriented language used for imperative programming, characterized by a syntax akin to Python with indent-based programming blocks. Integrated deeply with the Godot engine, GD Script facilitates high-quality content generation. Downloading Godot First, let's go to the Godot website at godotengine.org and download a Godot 4. When you see the front page, find a Download Latest button. Step 1. Click on the Download Latest. The download will be commencing on your browser. After it, in the Step 2, you will need to extract the compressed files. And to start it, Step 3, by clicking on the first file. Lecture 2. Learn how to get started with a video game by creating a project, setting up a game scene, and building a greetings world example. When you launch the game engine for the first time, you will see the project manager window as shown in the image. The project manager window has two main tabs, projects and asset library. The projects tab is visible by default and displays a list of all your game projects. If you haven't created any projects yet, you will see the message. You don't have any projects yet, along with options to create new project import existing project, and go online and open asset library. Projects tab. In the projects tab, you'll find four button options, plus create, import, scan, and filter projects. The create button allows you to start a new blank game project. The import button enables you to bring in an existing game project. Use the scan button to locate Godot project folders in your file system. The Filter Projects provides a search field to find specific projects in the Projects tab list. Create a new project. To create a new game project, click once on the Create button in the far left side of the Projects tab. This action will open the Create New Project dialog. Let's look at the following illustration. In the Create New Project dialog, you'll find the Project Name Entry Field, Create Folder Option, Project Path Entry Field, Render Options, Version Control Metadata, Combo Box, Create and Edit button, and Cancel button. Start by entering a recognizable name for your project in the Project Name field. Leave the Create Folder checkbox checked to automatically update the project path with the new project name. Renderer. 
There are three renderer options available, Forward Plus, Mobile, and Compatibility. The Forward Plus renderer is suited for demanding 3D graphics, handling complex scenes efficiently with its rendering device backend. However, it is limited to desktop platforms and can exhibit slow performance with simpler scenes. The mobile renderer is designed for less demanding 3D and 2D games, supporting both desktop and mobile platforms. It provides fast rendering for simpler scenes, but is less effective for complex game environments and advanced graphics. The compatibility mode, supporting desktop, mobile, and web platforms, is intended for low-end and older devices. It uses the OpenGL3 backend, offering fast rendering for simpler scenes, but limited in handling advanced 3D graphics. Now you can pick your renderer accordingly. If you have new hardware, leave a default Forward Plus option. You can adjust the renderer in the game engine once you begin game development. Create and edit. Click the Create and Edit button once to initiate the creation of your first video game development project. A new Godot project is like starting a fresh canvas for making a video game. When you create a new project, you set up a workspace where you can build your game. This includes creating a folder to store all your game files, like images, scripts, and scenes. You'll also choose settings for how your game will look and run. Once the project is set up, you can start adding elements like characters, levels, and interactions, and use Godot's tools to design and program your game. In Godot 4.3, a game project includes Game scenes. These are different parts of your game, like levels or menus. Each scene has nodes, objects, like characters and backgrounds, which can be arranged and customized. GD Script. This is the scripting language used to control how your game works. You write scripts to make things happen in your game, like moving characters or handling player input. Resources. These are the assets used in your game, such as images, sounds, and 3D models. Resources are imported into your project and used in your scenes and scripts. In essence, scenes build your game structure, GD Script handles behavior, and resources provide the visuals and sounds. Godot ID. After creating your first Godot game project, you'll see the Godot Integrated Development Environment IDE. It features four main modes, 2D, 3D, script, and asset library. On the left, you have a main menu with scene, project, debug, editor, and help. Also on the left are the scene and file system micro windows. The right side has an inspector window. In the upper right corner, there's an action menu with buttons for actions such as run project, pause running project, stop running project, remote debug, run current scene, run specific scene, and enable movie maker mode. At the bottom center is a tool palette including output, debugger, audio, animation, and shader editor. The central area displays the game scene window. Next, you can create a new 2D scene and start by reading a book sample. The information you need is in the video description. I hope you enjoy the material. You can also watch this video.